Well, hey, good afternoon, everybody. Things are getting really exciting here. You can see I'm kind of working on my uh, heads here, taking a look at them, you know, just kind of double checking, you know, what CB Performance did. When I did order them, you know, I did give them, you know, what I'm, my specifications. <laughs> I did tell them what I wanted in these heads. And, you know, basically, you know, it's going to be a 92 millimeter uh, bore, but yet, you know, they're cut for 90, 94 millimeter cylinders. I needed to clarify that with the combustion chamber. And I told them I'm going to be running roughly 600 thousandths lift. So there's a few things I got to kind of check on here, and I'm going to show you one of them, and that is the retainer to uh, valve guide clearance. Okay, there goes the popo. <laughs> All right, I'm going to remember where I left off, but yeah, I got you know yeah, good news. <laughs> uh, the first first check I did was. Uh, piston to valve clearance check where you know you basically clay up your pistons and uh, you know bolt the head on you know run everything through uh, through its motions you know get a good full 360 degree turn you know let the valves do what they do open and close and then you take the head back off and you, you know you check the clay and see um, how you know how close your pistons come to the valves or your valves come to the pistons you know I'm good there. <laughs> I didn't barely even touch the clay. I actually use uh, silly putty uh, in, in that area. I use silly putty instead of clay. But before I could do that, I had to make sure that the geometry was good. And yeah, the geometry was good. I don't even have to get new push rods. The push rods from the old combination are going to work in the new combination. That's a win. Now I'm checking the uh, retainer cap to the valve guide um, clearance. But yeah, it's been a while. But I think uh, you know they recommend maybe 80 to 100 thousandths of clearance. Basically, you want the clearance in case you just happen to float the valves. The other little thing that holds the springs on <laughs> will come, uh, the bottom that will come close to hitting the guide. You don't want it to hit the guide because if it hits the guide, it's going to bite the valve. And then you're going to have, you know, basically whatever already issues I've already dealt with. So I'm, I'm just checking the clearance on that. And I had told uh, CB Performance that I'm going to be lifting roughly a 600 thousandths. And I believe I ordered these with the 650 uh, springs on there. So I think uh, after doing this measurement, they actually got the, uh, the whole travel um, for 650 thousands. Walk you guys on how I do this. <laughs> There's probably another way of doing this, but you know, when you're working in a garage with the limited tools, you gotta work with what you have. Yeah, I got the dial indicator set up on here and I took the spring off, but I, and I'm holding the cap on um, without the spring. So I'm gonna have to try to pull this out of here without getting in your guys' way, so you guys can watch the numbers. I got the dial indicator on the valve. Um, you can't put it on the uh, retainer cap because it wants to wiggle back and forth. We try to get as accurate, the most accurate reading as possible. So we're gonna zero it out here. And it looks like we are on zero. So we're just gonna, you know, let this do its thing. And we're gonna count how many times it goes around. One, two, Oops, two, three, four, five, six, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. So yeah, we got six hundred eighty thousandths, which is great. We'll do it one more time. Doesn't hurt to double check. The dial indicator is a little off. See if we can get the same reading. One more time. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, and seventy-five. So we're still on zero. No, we're still on zero. So yeah, six hundred seventy-five thousand slip. In my application, uh, this is going to work really well because uh, when I was setting up the uh, rocker arm geometry or checking for rocker arm geometry, I discovered I had like 560, I think it went with 66 thousandths lift, so I got over 100 thousandths uh, clearance. Ooh, G body, Monte Carlo. Squirrels again. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I have over 100 thousandths clearance there, so I should be A okay. But yeah, I'm pretty much. Uh, ordered these things. I'm, I'm going to run them right out of the box. I, you know, did make a few checks. 
the other the other check I checked a while back, I think I've already got a video on it. If I could find it, I'll link it down below or maybe even just at the end of this video. But it's where I checked the uh, CCs of the, um, the combustion chambers. And when I did that, I used a windshield washer solution. It's a little thinner. I also checked to see if the valves are leaking, and I didn't have anything go through the valves at all. So that's a bonus, too. It means that um, CP Performance did a really good valve job. <laughs> Stay tuned if you want to see how well these uh, run. Um, I'm pretty much, I believe I can uh, put the long block together, uh, and after that will be the, uh, the uh, turnkey uh, application. I'm waiting on the the intake manifold from Jeremy, and I still got a 50 manifolds with the 10. I'm hoping I don't have to do much clearancing there. And I believe I got a little bit of work to do on the turbo, but yeah, until next time, keep shifting those gears, keep cruising, and always enjoy the ride. We'll see ya. Before I was just another guy.